Okay, well, for this this week's presentation, I'm <clears throat> in honor of Roberto. I thought I'd, I'd, I'd talk about um, Roman architecture. <clears throat> uh, in 1972, I was I was in Bordeaux for a while, and then I hitchhiked across to Aosta in North Italy. And uh, <clears throat> and from Aosta, I went for a walk, and I got up to a village called Pondel. And w in Pondel, I discovered this absolutely beautiful Roman bridge, which nobody seemed to know about. Well, of course, everybody there knew about it, but they didn't know what it was. Uh, <clears throat> but the top of the bridge is quite narrow. It's only six feet wide. So the, the, the top of the bridge is, is quite narrow, and all these... All these images you can just about see. Well, yes, you can see how wide it is on there. It's quite a narrow bridge, but it's a beautiful piece of construction. And it's a minute village. And you can see from this image that that's this t beautiful tiny, tiny village. And there's the bridge. And what it's you, it's, it's, a, it's actually a viaduct. So it's it used to carry water, um, and what they, <laughs> well, what they used it for at that time, was the local farmers would would uh, would bring their cows from the pasture at this side of the valley and take them across the bridge to a pasture at the other side of the valley, and so this bridge was completely covered in cow pads, and. And, and as you can see, it's, it's not really, it's very narrow and it's very precipitous and scary drop. There's about, say, a hundred metre drop. It's absolutely enormous. Very, very scary. And, and if you, <laughs> but anyway, um, anyway, how do I, what am I talking about? Yeah, so I, I'd got my sketchbook with me and I thought, oh, well, this is a fantastic bridge. I'm going to do a painting of it and I sat down to do this painting and uh, I think that gives you some impression of the bridge uh, which you can go inside you can actually walk inside well, I'll talk about that in a minute and that's the village at the other side there's a tiny hamlet uh, a very very small village uh, but the very place where I sat to do the drawing or the painting from it turns out Turner had done a picture from almost the same position and that's Turner's painting of the same bridge from the same place. Although Turner showed the, the brickwork in the bridge around, the, around the, the arch of the bridge, which you can see here, I've not shown any brickwork at all. So I think, I think Turner cheated a bit there. <laughs> but on my on my on my painting, I've, I've done a, an architectural drawing of the bridge to show how it works. So that's that's one side of the bridge and the other side acro crossing this very very steep valley. And if you can see that a little line goes down there, and that represents the bottom of the stream, and goes up on that side of the valley. And uh, I couldn't, it was so steep, I couldn't even see into the bottom of this because I was sitting up somewhere up here on the side of the valley to get this picture, get this image. So it was absolutely, I could see it was a very beautiful bridge, but because cows were passing through here all the time, it was co covered in cow pats and it was obviously not a tourist attraction. Uh, so I hadn't realised that actually you can go inside the bridge. Uh, there is the door, and if you see an, in an image I've taken from the internet, and that's what it looks like on the inside. So I really wish I'd, <laughs> I'd discovered that, but I think now, now they've realised the potential from a tourist point of view. They've got arrows pointing saying, walk this way. Come and have a look at this bridge. But when I went, it was it was just a just a just a bridge. Oh, and they didn't know what they'd got. 
It's great yeah. that you discovered and Turner had on uh, <laughs> exactly the same bridge. Yeah, same bridge, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, Turner was... Sorry. Yes. <laughs> of course, when Turner was, was travelling around Europe, he was on the Grand Tour. Um, <clears throat> So he was he was doing the tour that the 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 gentry used to do. People who, who travel around looking at all the wonderful sights around Europe, and t bring back all the all the great things that they'd seen, and they brought back things like uh, classical antiquity to our country. So your country, Roberto, came to ours <laughs> because <laughs> because all the posh guys all went over there to have a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what happened and so that's what I was doing I was there without any money at all hitchhiking doing it on the cheap and missing this beautiful creating this beautiful spotting this beautiful bridge but not realising I could walk inside the bridge inside here <laughs> ah. well you had to come back I'd love to Must go back be still and, oh, there. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's been there for, it was built in 3 BC oh yeah I've got to say that 3 BC so three it's years still BC. there oh, what's, what's the name of the village it's Pondell Pond it's Pondell Pondell yeah. near Aosta so, yeah, yeah, near, near Aosta, near Aosta. Yeah. so it's, it's the pond, it's the bridge over the D apostrophe A E L Dial so yeah. this this stream at the bottom of this groove, this press press, uh, what's the word? Precipitous. Precipitous. Precipitous groove. Yeah, is uh, is the day di di dial. Right. Well, it's fascinating. Yeah. Thank you very much. So there you are. Yeah,